is not a big deal and to prove that i'm going to make you create it using nothing else but your smartphone and to save your most precious time let's get started right quick all right so the very first thing right here is to import the video with an object that you want to zoom through for this example right here i'm going to zoom through an eye so i'm going to import this video right here Alright, so the very first step right here is to add a mask. Just make sure the video is selected and then scroll this option right here and you are going to see right here the mask. Use the circle shape mask and then adjust some few things right here. And then after that, use the reverse option right here to invert the mask. And after you've done that, it's going to be a completely black hole right on the middle of the eye. Alright, so right here the following step is very simple again my dear friend. You just have to identify the frame that you want the zoom to start on. Alright, so right here, I think I can set the zoom from this frame, okay? And then you add a keyframe right there. And then after some frames, we have to zoom this video right here from the previous screen. So you must do that until the black hole covers the full frame, alright? So by doing this, you have simply zoomed in your object through the keyframes, alright? And now you just have to follow along here, adjusting the position. And this is going to fill more keyframes as it zooms in. Okay, and now the zoom is perfect and straight. Alright, my dear friend, moving on to the very next step right here. Alright, so you have to listen very carefully right now because this is the moment where the trick becomes a little harder. Alright, down here, you see this option that is called the PIP. Then you go for it and then you can import something right here, which is actually the blank green picture. Okay, alright, so right now, we have to adjust this so that it fits the whole frame. Okay. Well, so you just have to make sure that the PIP image that you have added right there is going to start at the very frame where the keyframe is, alright? Alright, so right now, add the same mask to this PIP green image, okay? But this time around, you don't invert it. Now, just make it align with the black hole and that is simply a mask that we have created earlier, okay? Alright, so right now, do the very same thing. On the very first frame, add a keyframe and then you zoom it after a few frames directly on the same frame that you have added a keyframe. Alright, so one more time, just follow along and make some adjustments. Just make sure that both are zooming in correctly and at the same time, okay? Alright, so right now, it's very simple, my dear friend. You just have to split this video exactly on this frame where the keyframe is. Now, you just have to go to this first part and then disable the mask okay all right okay my dear friend so right now we have something like this okay we are almost done my dear friend just keep on watching we are going to see it in a minute now you have to export this whole thing right here okay all right now that you are done exporting the video my dear friend we need that video that is going to show up after you zoom in the following video in the transition now after you have done that go again to the pip option right here and here you are going to import the video that you have just exported okay all right so right now you have to select this pip video here and then go to the smart cutout feature and when you get here select this option right here which is the chroma key Alright, so right here, you just have to key this color here, which is our, our green screen color, okay? Alright, my dear friends, so as you can see, we are almost done right here, but there's one more important thing, which is the very last one. This is the speed ramping, okay? So as you can see right here, if I play our creation right now, it seems like this, but the final thing must be at least like this. This is cinematic, right? Okay? This is what you're going to do. We are going to speed ramp this PIP right here, and for that, you go to this option right here, which is the speed, and then you select the curve. And right here, you go to the custom and then you can play around with it right here so that you can produce the very best result you want. And then here comes the final result. If you found it helping, please subscribe so that you catch up with me in the following episodes, okay? And also, I'd like to let you know that we got some funny episodes again on this channel, okay? And if you want to check out what is that all about, check out any of these two videos right here. Peace.